guys welcome to a new video today I am sharing with you my gaming setup now I would love to say that I have a dedicated game room but unfortunately I don't and to be honest I'm okay with that I really am um, I call this my gaming nook this is a wall in my living room that I basically hijacked and I've made it my own and I really do love it I do instead of being bitter about the fact that I don't have a dedicated game room I'm working with what I got and, you know, I got my own little space to play games and display majority of my gaming related items. Now, I do have my retro stuff in a closet. And one day I'll get around to sharing with you guys how I store all that and going through some of the bins. But for now, let's take a look at this gaming nook. So let's take a look at this first bookshelf. Let me pan down so you guys can see. Sorry for the shaky camera, but you know how it goes. Up top is where I keep my big box stuff, the stuff that takes up a lot of room. And that's usually collector editions slash limited editions. Got some random stuff up here as well. Um, but yeah, we got the Uncharted 3 collector's edition, Zone of the Enders is up there. Fishing Resort, the little box that came in. Um, Grand Theft Auto 4, I think this is Bioshock 2 collector's edition or limited edition. Death Smiles that got ruined when I moved. Oh, it makes me so upset. A uh, little Big Planet 2 Collector's Edition. Devil Summoner 2 Collector's Edition. Got a little sack boy showing him love up there. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I think that's Fallout New Vegas right there. Just random things that take up a lot of space are up top. Uh, I try to stack them as nicely as I can. You know, I play Tetris every now and again, making sure everything fits. Sometimes it's a hassle. The first shelf here consist of 3DS games. Yep, my 3DS collection. Got some Nintendo related items up here as well. Donkey Kong Mario Kart figure. My son got that for me from Canada when he went to Canada last summer. Then right here we have some Club Nintendo rewards. A little Star Tin. I think mints used to be in there. And a Pokeball. Down below we have more portable games, the rest of my 3DS collection. Here we have KK Slider. It's a little perler beat that I made last summer um, when Animal Crossing New Leaf came out. I made that. This is my limited edition or my Zelda limited edition 3DS with the, um, what is this called? God, I, I'm drawing a blank here, guys. The Circle Pad Pro. There you go. I never use that anymore, though. I need to get a Circle Pad Pro for my 3DS XL. They're all sold out. Um, we have Vita games here. That's my Vita collection. Then we have a Bioshock Infinite figure. That's Elizabeth. Really nice figure there. And then right there we have a pre-order item that I got from Virtue's Last Reward. It's actually a watch. And then just a random like case for Vita games. Down below here we have current gen games. It's weird saying current gen, but yeah, current gen games. That's my Wii U collection. More Perler beads. Kingdom Hearts related, of course. Uh, that's my uh, Zelda 3DS XL, limited edition. Use that every single day. Love it. And then we have PS4 and Xbox One games. And that is a Zelda lithograph I think I forget where I got it from probably in one of the collector edition um, strategy guides but yeah it's quite nice the next shelf is dedicated to the Wii quite a few games here you know the Wii does have games despite what others may think but yeah that's my Wii collection got a little Mario figure over there just chilling got some of my Wii collector editions or special editions whatever you want to call them and then the last shelf in this book case consist of strategy guides. I have a rather big strategy guide collection which I will get around to doing a collection video for strategy guides but yeah that's where I keep most of them. We got another bookshelf over here. Pan down so you guys can see. Alright. Up top more collector slash limited editions. This by far is one of my favorite collector or limited editions. It's the Borderlands 2 Ultimate Loot Chest. It's amazing. Definitely a must have for any fan of the Borderlands series. 
Um, but yeah, got a little Mario hat up top. Darksiders 2 Collector's Edition. Last of Us Survival Edition. Catherine Special Edition is up there. Got a PlayStation Vita box. Um, I don't know what box that is. That might be my uh, Zelda 3DS box up there. Then down here, the first shelf is all about the PSP. So that's my PSP collection. I'm going to eventually um, phase this out and put them into tubs and put them in my closet with the other retro stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of this collection. PSP is another system that people say, you know, it's horrible. But there are a lot of great games for it. You got some uh, figures up here as well. You got Big Daddy just chilling. Sora. And a little sister. She looks really scared. <laughs> and a big sister. The next shelf is my PS3 collection. It's where I keep my PS3 games. Yep. Got some more right there. Got a little Jack figure. Love him to pieces. He's so adorable. This is a random bin. Um, has Skylander cards in it. Uh, 360 or maybe an Xbox One headset. Stylus. Um, some Disney Infig Infinity Power Discs are in there. You know, it's just random stuff. Nothing special. The next shelf, the start of my 360 collection, has uh, some more Skylanders. Skylander Portal, I think that's for the 3DS. It's a smaller one. Viva Pinata figure. The little toy I got, I think from Burger King when the first Viva Pinata game came out. Great series. I hope that one day they'll bring it back, but I doubt that'll happen. Um, but yeah, to start of my 360 collection, this is a rather rare Skylander that I have. I got it from, from Target when it was released. Uh, it's a variant crusher, the granite one. Um, yeah, I've played with him a couple times, but it's pretty, it's up there in price, man. People are really looking for that thing. And then that's the rest of my 360 collection. Got more Skylanders, of course. And this, I think, is my husband's. I don't know how it ended up on my shelf, but yeah. And then down below, ugh, I need to get around to organizing this. Probably end up sticking these in tubs as well, but this is my DS collection. Lots of great games. Yep, love the DS to pieces. Uh, this little bin has random stuff in it. There's some uh, Super Nintendo games, Super Nintendo carts in there. Just randomness. Club Nintendo prize from a couple of years ago. Um, Skylander Swap Force box. This is just all random stuff right here. Um, two Club Nintendo poster sets that I got. I don't even rem remember which ones they are. Uh, but yeah, they've been chilling there. Uh, tripod that I use. Over here. It's more randomness. You got the rest of my strategy guide collection running out of space and then this tub right here is full of Game Boy games Game Boy games Game Boy Color um, I think some Game Boy Advance are mixed in in there as well this little bin has Skylander portals in it uh, charger for my MacBook Pro uh, what else this is the Game Boy Advance Micro uh, DS Lite is in there as well just random stuff I really <laughs> need to get around to organizing soon this is where the magic happens, or at least the video game magic happens, guys. I got this little desk from Ikea. I got it for like 20 bucks, and I love it. I really do. I love the fact that it's two-tiered, you know, so we have this basic bottom part here, and then the television is elevated. I love that. So that's my new TV. I got that in February. Um, it's a Samsung 32-inch smart TV. Haven't used any of the, the apps that are available on the smart TV, but it does have like Netflix, um, YouTube, some other things as well. I just use it to play games. Love the color. The picture quality is great. Got my Wii U game pad over there, along with my Xbox One Connect that's dusty as all hell. Then we have more little figures. Got some perler beads, piranha plant, perler bead. Um, Kefka, I just made him the other day. He looks evil. Um, and he is. 
Uh, one Up Mushroom. I think that also came with mints. Year of Luigi special edition coin that I got when I went to a Best Buy event. Um, let's see. What's that? Uncharted 2 minifigures that I picked up a couple of years ago. And Clank, because he's awesome. Down here we have some controllers, Xbox 360 controller and my PS4 controller. And the headset that came with the PS4. Not the best, but it gets the job done when I'm streaming sometimes. Uh, you got my Xbox 360 over there, the PlayStation 4 camera on top of that. I need to reposition that because I don't like the angle that it's giving me. But it's a really nice camera. Works wonders. Just got it the other day. Um, Maxwell figure, Captain Barbosa, or maybe it's Davy Jones or someone, I don't know, <laughs> from Disney Infinity. Uh, you got a little Okami stretchy band here. Someone gave this to me a couple of years ago. Love that that game. It's awesome. Um, question mark block, which has the Club Nintendo reward, the awesome statue that came out a couple years ago. This is the Mario Galaxy free commemorative launch coin that I got when I picked up Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Up top is just like random stuff. Um, more ra more randomness. Another question mark block. Um, Disney Infinity power disc. Another Pokeball mixed in there. This, though, is pretty cool. It's very handy. Uh, it's the Yoshi container, or the Yoshi bin that I got from Club Nintendo. Works wonders. I put um, unused controllers in there, or controllers that I'm using in here. You got um, my capture device. It's the Elgato. I use that. Um, there's some retro games in here, some manuals as well. Uh, but it's awesome. Great place to house things that don't have a home. Over here, um, these usually aren't here, but I just got some comic books. I've been uh, reading a lot lately, and I've been enjoying it, so I got into some series. I've already been reading The Walking Dead, but I'm trying to catch up. Um, so, yeah, I think I have a couple more graphic novels to go with The Walking Dead before I'm caught up. But Fables... Oh my god, I just started that series and it is fantastic. If you guys like The Wolf Among Us, that arcade game that came out on the 360 and PS3 and it's also out on Steam, and I think iOS devices, oh my goodness, and you're into comics, definitely read Fables. It's amazing. Seconds, I just got this. This is the new graphic novel by Brian Lee O'Malley. Uh, he did the Scott Pilgrim series and it's pretty awesome. Love the story in that. It's my remote for my TV. And then down below, this is where the badness happens. Wire management is not my thing. All right? So don't, don't judge. Uh, this is a little, I guess, a console organizer. I got this a few years back when I had, I guess... Hmm, my Xbox and my PS2. Um, I've had it for quite a while now. And it's awesome. I mean, it's really sturdy. Um, it's getting the job done for now. So I, I like that. It's a great way to organize your consoles. Or at least try to, <laughs> in my case. Um, up there I have the controllers that I don't really use that often. They're just sitting there. And then my consoles, PS3, the Wii U is right there. PS4 down below and then the Xbox One all the way at the bottom and I love this because it pulls out. You can pull this all the way out. It's very handy. And then on the sides of this um, I keep my Xbox One controller over there um, but I have my headset so this is the Xbox One headset. headset. Uh, this is a Wii U headset right here. Not very good. Definitely don't recommend that. Um, PS3 slash PS4 headset. Uh, Xbox 360 headset and then I have the gold wireless headset I use those like every single day so yeah wire management I'm gonna have to work on that but you know I could play my games at least and then right here is a little ottoman that I have I basically store stuff in there god look at those wires it's horrible um, but I usually put books here just random things you got lightning returns uh, retro game Super Nintendo game um, this is the Capcom Character Encyclopedia. Great coffee table piece. Amazing. Um, Lightning and Return Strategy Guide. You got a Skylander there. Inside of the Ottoman, 
Um, I store like Skylanders, Disney Infinity characters, things of that nature. So that's my little gaming nook. It's really nothing special. It honestly isn't, but it's my little sanctuary. I love it. I honestly do. It's my place to come to escape and just to hang out, you know, and I love the fact that, especially now that I have headsets, the fact that I can put a headset on and play games while my husband and son are sitting a few feet away watching TV on the living room television, it's awesome. It really is. Let me know what you guys think about my gaming nook. Please let me know. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I want to thank all of you for watching this video, and I'll check you next time.